Alright guys, good morning. Finally. Look at the hair. Okay, whatever. Okay, so we have 19%, so I'm gonna go upstairs after this clip and charge it so we can use it later. Uh, but I just woke up and it's uh, 2 45 p.m. So <laughs> super super late Usually I'll be at the gym right now But I went to bed at 5 a.m. Couldn't sleep for some reason. So I woke up super super late. I had my um, alarm at like 1130 Totally slept through it. So uh, yeah, but I'm going to the gym in an hour <sighs> Just came out of the shower gonna eat now. I'm gonna make my oatmeal um, six gram of oatmeal, um, and then some honey, some milk, and some frozen fruits. I think we have uh, raspberries this time, or blueberries. Um, and then I'm gonna have like sandwiches, peanut butter sandwiches, something, um, something simple I can eat fast. Um, and then we're gonna walk to the gym, buy a banana, buy a Snickers bar or something, make G Fuel. And then we should be fine, um, but still, it's I, I hate waking up this late. Um, but yeah, thank you. Uh, welcome to a new video. Uh, YouTube just deleted like some some inactive subscribers, so we hit 24k, but now we haven't hit it. So, I mean, we only have 50, so it's not that bad. But uh, yeah, welcome to a new video. I'll check in with you guys when this is charged and going to the gym. So we are back. Hi right, guys. So we um, just got done with dinner. Dinner, what the hell? It's 3.36, uh, we have to leave in like five minutes. So very quickly, we're making some G Fuel and some creatine. So to, yesterday I went with pink lemonade and mystery. Today we're gonna go with kiwi strawberry, I think. Yeah, I'm feeling kiwi strawberry today, boy. So, kiwi strawberry, creatine, and some water. Creatine is always very tricky because it's a big scoop. Take it one time. Alright, I'm gonna do my hair now, and then we'll leave, um, yeah. I'm excited though, we're gonna train back biceps, and uh, hopefully lay on this down to do some rack pulls. Because I've been really feeling rack pulls lately. So, yeah, we'll see. I'll check in with you guys in a bit. Alright guys, we're on our way. Walking. Uh, I got my G Fuel in the back, I got everything. I'm always so um, afraid that I lose, that I forget stuff. Because I hate being late and stuff, and I hate being having to rush. So I tend to forget stuff when I rush. And it's a little bit too light for... But uh, yeah, walking now, I look really tired. I'm really not that tired, but I look really tired. But uh, we're walking to Liam right now. I'll see you there. What is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm gonna be going over my full back and bicep workout. Now, as you guys saw in the video in the beginning, um, I woke up pretty late. I didn't eat very, very much. Um, so some might say this wouldn't be the greatest workout ever. Um, I'm not saying it was the greatest workout ever, but it was a good workout um, in the end. Now, guys, I was very excited to go rack pulling today, and guess what? We pulled a new PR today, and I am so, so happy with it because I didn't think this workout was gonna be anything. Now, uh, so the build, the how I structured the rack pull um, exercise was I did three warm up sets uh, of just uh, 135, very light. Um, then I went 225 to two. 85 to 315 and all those sets I did five reps so three times five for the lower 
um, lower weight um, sets. And then I went over and did 360. This is this that you're watching right now, 360 pounds for three reps. And then the last one, I wanted to try four, uh, 405. Uh, I wanted to get two or three reps on that. And you're gonna see that in a second. But this is the 360 set. Um, it's quite heavy for me, um, but I went and did three reps on this. Clean reps, um, you know, good, uh, fast, uh, good form, uh, very explosive. And this is the 405 sets. Now, as you can see, I'm taking a long time before that set to get myself in the mood, to get myself in the zone, uh, have some, I had I Am The Greatest by Logic on playing. So uh, that got me very, very hyped. Um, it took a very long time before this set to get in my zone uh, because I really wanted to hit it. This I never tried this before, four or five. I tried three, 385 before, um, but not four or five. So um, yeah, you can see here. First rep, uh, good lockout, and second rep was very tough. But as you can see, pretty good. Uh, I, I I didn't want to do a um, third rep on that, nice little wiggle, um, a third rep on that because I thought, you know, I'm going to save that for next time. Um, so then we went over and we did some bend over rows uh, with a little bit of a um, smaller, like a narrower grip than usual. And that way, we're going to target a little bit more of the traps, um, which is something you guys know I've been working on or trying to work on. So we did that, three reps, 8 to 12 repetitions um, with like 135 or a little bit more than that, um, which is pretty good. I'm really happy with it. Um, I think we went up to like 155 or something. But, you know, the weight doesn't matter as long as your form is good, as long as you pull with your elbows and not with your wrist or do anything with, with that. Uh, then we went over and we did some... Uh, wipe your pull downs. Um, Leon is not the best cameraman in the world. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, but yeah, the footage is not that clear here. But um, that, that doesn't really matter. But we did uh, three sets of 10 reps on this. And then um, as you can see here, Leon. Leon is pretty shredded, guys. Um, he's getting pretty dry. Uh, I'm not sure if he does it on purpose or not. But uh, you can see great definition in his back. You can see even veins. Um, the left side, you have, have some veins in his back. So he's doing really well. Um, so that's dope for him, you know. Uh, then we went over. We did some low rows, but then with a different bar or handle, or whatever you want to call it. So we did a little bit more of a wider grip. Uh, usually, I, I use the V-bar, as you can see in the right. Um, I use that for close grip. But we, we tried the wide grip for um, for a change. It's always good to switch it up, guys. Um, this one as well, 3 times 10 uh, to 12 repetitions. Um, I didn't go too heavy on this because I really like the squeeze on this. So I didn't put too much emphasis on the weight. I just wanted to get a good contraction on the back. Then we went over and we did some biceps. Now biceps we did three sets or just uh, easy bar curls. As you can see, Leon is looking so, so shredded, guys. Damn. Uh, he's short in the arms. He's looking like all veiny and stuff. So it's dope. Um, but we did uh, easy bar curls three times eight um, three sets of eight on the first, um, um, yeah, the first rotation, and then we went over and we did some 21s. So we did three times the 21s, so that's seven, 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 uh, which was very, very heavy. But you'll see that in a second. But as you can see here, um, not that much weight actually, guys. We were pretty worn out after you know the heavy red pulls and the, the heavy rowing and stuff. I um, mean the pull downs. So you know, you know, yeah. You, you can't give it your like a thousand percent PRs on every exercise. Uh, it's just not going to work. As you can see here, Leon's doing the 21s. But yeah, guys, if you start off with a very heavy exercise like squat or bench and you give it your all, you can't, you know, think that you can um, max out like your PR max on every single exercise you do next. I mean, you're, you're, you're going to, if you're going to max out on your rack pulls or your deadlift or your squat, uh, you can't really max out on your whatever else you do, you know. So uh, focus on something on the beginning, like a big compound movement. Do that as heavy as you can if you want that. And um, and then just work on... I like to work on getting reps, good form, good contraction, good reps. Um, I said that already. But uh, I just work on how I'm really squeezing. I'm really paying attention to my form, the speed, the full range of motion. Uh, and that's very important in my opinion. So uh, as you can see, here's my 21 set. Uh, this is very painful, guys. After all that we did, 
this was very heavy for me. Um, next exercise, the last exercise you're gonna watch is gonna be in a couple seconds. It's gonna be hammer uh, curls with cable, uh, single-handedly. So uh, this, uh, the exercise is a very good one actually to finish off. I mean, cables have a different type of um, tension on your muscles, you could say. So that's very, very nice um, to have sometimes. And um, I hate it it's so orange in, in the basic, whatever. Um, but yeah, as you can see here, I am, uh, you know, really focusing on the full range of motion, getting a good speed on the exercise and make sure I, I contract in the right way um, and the biceps. Uh, so this is going to be it for the commentary, guys. I hope you uh, enjoyed it. Please go try this workout out and, and make sure you, you, you be safe with red pulls. It's a very dangerous exercise. But if you try it out, let me know on Twitter. Uh, it was nice talking to you guys and I'll see you guys in a new video tomorrow. So now, what's going on guys? It's 6 o'clock almost, and I um, just came back from the gym. Um, my mom is going to be home soon, and um, but I really have to go edit this video now because otherwise it won't be up on time. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this workout vlog. It was very workout focused today, um, obviously because I woke up very, very late and I didn't have much time. Uh, but I, I hope you enjoy regardless. Uh, I'm sure I talked about some uh, stuff that I wanted to talk about in this video uh, in the commentary you just watched so uh, I really want to thank you guys for watching it regardless uh, if you can please leave a like on this video that would really help me out and I'll check in with you guys tomorrow uh, normal video tomorrow way better video peace